Well, here it is, Christmas Day, 2020, December 25th. Temperature here in Central Illinois right now is 13 degrees. The water froze. That's all right. Bought the little tent with him. I had this tent for a long time. I only gave him like 20 bucks for something many years ago. But uh, the main thing about it is get out of the wind. Uh, right now I'm sitting here. I got, got my coat unzipped. Ain't wearing my hat. Uh, and is it cold? Well, yes, it's cold, but it's, it's it's not near as bad as it would be if you're sitting out there in the wind. If you want to do winter things, just make sure you got some kind of a shelter, some kind of windbreak. It makes a big difference. It makes all the difference in the world. <clears throat> and what possess a, a guy that's almost 70 years old to come out here and sit in the woods at 13 degrees on Christmas Day? Because I can. You know why? Because I've got the American spirit. And that's what we're all losing nowadays. We're all losing the American spirit. We need to get her back. And the American spirit is real simple. You just, you do what you want to do within reason. Okay? You stay within the boundaries of the law and, and that's it. Only the law. What the Constitution gives you. And everything that the Constitution gives you is your rights. Stand up for your rights. Don't be afraid. Don't be a don't be afraid of your shadow. Don't be afraid of what the news media is telling you. Don't be afraid of none of this crap. Be your own person. Because I'm going to tell you what. Uh, I've never been a sheep. And I ain't never going to be a sheep. But uh, you got to make up your own mind. If you're, if, you're, if you're actually genuinely scared or afraid of something, then, then avoid it, okay? <clears throat> Don't be stupid. But... Uh, but don't let somebody else dictate your life to you. It's your life. You only get one chance. Okay? Uh, and, and, and I'm going to tell you what. About 95% of, uh, of uh, what happens to you in your life, you, you can control. The other 5% you can't. But about 95%, because you can control whether you're, you're, uh, you feel good, you feel bad, whether you want to ride a bike, or whether you want to play guitar, whether you want to play piano, you control all that. It just depends on how much effort you want to put into it. Uh, it's all about you, okay? And, 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 and saying that, it's all about you, but remember, you ain't the only person in this world. So don't let your you stuff infringe upon the rights of somebody else's you stuff. Yeah, it's, it's real simple. Mind your own business. Uh, you know, but within, but you, but you got, you can't be sitting at home. You can't, you can't be out there uh, afraid to, to, it's, it, it, it's going to kill you. Uh, I, I've, uh, I've seen people that they're afraid to, to even go out their door and it's like, why are you afraid? Okay. I don't know. It's. It, uh, I guess I'm just ranting, and I guess it's 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 kind of a stupid rant, but it's 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 just like this. Okay, be your own person. Uh, I I watch videos on motorcycle riders and stuff, you know, and, and think gets me is, and I'm not going to mention any names because you know I don't want to get in the piss contest because uh, you know, uh, push comes to shove, we just have to get down to it. But I ain't I ain't here to do that. But I watched some uh, videos. And, and they talk about, and this is one of my pet peeves, they talk about counter steering on a motorcycle. And they said, you know, you've got to learn how to counter steer. Well, I know what they're talking about, counter steering. And I rode bikes, I'm, I'm 68 years old, and I've rode bikes since I was about 15, okay? Am I an expert? Hell no, I ain't an expert in nothing. Uh, but I'd, I'd say from 15 to 68, that gives me quite a few years of experience. I'm going to tell you just flat like this. Counter steering, to me, for me, I can't speak for you, sucks. And I ain't going to do it. And the only time I'm going to counter steer on the bike is if I'm going down a dirt track somewhere there and I want to slide that back tire out in front of me and, and, and uh, do, a, do a hard turn. That's the only way I'm going to do it. But out on the highway, uh, hell no. Uh, you could do the same thing as counter steering. You know, people talk about counter steering; it gives you a, gives you a quick turn. 
But what you don't, what you got to remember about counter strain is you actually turn the handlebars the wrong way, and then as it, it starts to, to pitch, you've got to bring it back to go the way you want to go. Well, you've got to practice this, and you've got to be good at this, okay? And if you're and if you're not, you're going and you make a bobble, and you're running 60 miles down, down the road, and you do a counter steer like that, you're going to bust your ass. That's my opinion. The only time I ever counter, counter steer on a hard road is is to uh, put it in a slide, and I've had to do that more than once, okay? But uh, anyway, you can do the same thing by by instead of leaning with the bike. And we'll say, like, if you're going to turn right and you lean right, the bike will naturally lean right, okay? You can do the same thing as counter strain by, if you want to turn right, by, by, by getting on the left side of your bike and leaning it over a little bit. It works for me. I'm not going to say that's the right way, but I'm going to tell you what. Uh, like I said, I am absolutely not an expert, and I'm not going to tell you how to ride. The, the name of the game is you get your bike, you go out there, you ride it, and you know what your abilities are. Don't listen to all these jack legs out there telling you you got to learn this, you got to learn that. That's all horseshit. Do it your way, okay? There's nothing wrong with watching some videos and getting some tips, okay? There's there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm I'm not saying that, but when they but when they try to preach to you, this is the way you've got to do it. They're full of crap. You take a rider that's five foot five tall, and you put him on a, a an enduro bike that's got a 34 inch seat height. He ain't gonna be able to ride it till he gets going. You take a six foot four guy and put him on a, a little Cushman scooter, and he's gonna feel like a like, you know, he's going to be really out of sorts because it all depends on you, your ability, what you're used to, and what you know that you can do. And that's what you got to find out. Get you a little bike, get out there and ride. And, you know, they, they call them beginner's bikes. Well, I, I rode for quite a few years, and I have a, a 250, and I love that little bike. Is it a beginner's bike? It's just fun. Riding bike is all about fun. Riding bike is all about getting out there and feeling the wind in your face there and, and, and feeling the freedom. And, and to go places that you normally you wouldn't, you couldn't take your car, you wouldn't take your car. And it's also, it, it'll, it'll tax you, it'll, it'll, it'll challenge you to uh, do things differently. So I don't, enough of that, I guess. But anyway, I, I just get sick and tired of, of all these people sitting back there and trying to preach to everybody else, tell them the right way to do things. You know what the right way is? Your way. Your way is the right way. I've seen these videos. These guys get out there on the sport bikes there, and they pull pulling wheelies out there 60 mile an hour going down the road. They pull the stoppies and all this kind of stuff. Or they'll stand up on the seat there, and they'll do circles. Hey, hats off to them. Thank you very much. It's entertaining, and it's it's great, okay? And, and I love watching I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. They do. But here's again. Time and place. Whenever your whenever your enjoyment infringes upon somebody else, I don't think they should be out. They should be doing it out there on the on the highway there, uh, when there's other traffic on the road. That's just that's common sense. Okay, that's a no-no. But anyway, I'm not going to chastise them. It's that's up to the law to decide if they can catch them. It's it's none of my business, unless they're infringing upon my rights and create a, a situation where somebody in my family is in a dangerous situation. Oh yeah, then I'll deal with them. And then it's and it's it's my business, but you know the the thing of it is, if you see them doing shit like that, just back off, let them have the road. Don't challenge them, just get out of the way. You know, I I'll, I'll drive 20 miles an hour of my way, just go away from idiots. It, it's real simple. So you know, because I don't want them to dictate to me, and so I, I'll just because I'm never in a hurry, and that's the name. Of, don't be in a hurry. But anyway, yep, I don't think. This water is going to do you much good because it's froze. Right? 13 degrees. Sit down here. Got my fire belt. I'll show you that fire real quick. You can just probably see it. There. Got my fire belt there in front of the tent. And sit here in the tent here like this without uh, without the wind on me. I'm, I'm comfortable. Like I said, you can still see my breath, but. Um, it's no big deal. Get out of the way. Uh, but get out get out of your house. Uh, you know what? People weren't made to sit in, in houses. That's why even the caveman, you know, he had an entrance to the cave. He'd get out every once in a while. Uh, and, and this world is, is, is getting so screwed up 
we got to get back to normal. We got to get back to where there's some semblance of of uh, of people not being stressed. People are so stressed. They're so they're so worked up, sir. They're so worried about this and so worried about that. And it's like, you know, from the time that you're born, there's many ways to die. There's only one way to live. Only one way, and that's just live. Just do it. Don't be afraid of everything. Don't jump into every shadow. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, you you can't do that. It's 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 wrong. Uh, it'll create more problems. Do I have health problems? Well, well, I'm, I'm old, okay, and, and I know that. So I can't ride. I can't ride like I used to, and I know that. But it's like you know what? It don't stop me from doing it. I'm still gonna do it. As long as I can pitch leg over a seat, I'm gonna ride. As long as I can, I can get out here and, and sit here in the woods at 13 degrees and build me fire and get out of the way, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, I, I can't run any marathons anymore. I, I don't do a lot of cross country running anymore, but uh, you know, I can still run a little bit. And I, I, but not just because you get old don't mean you gotta stop. And, and hell, if you can't run, you can still walk. Just, just do it. Don't be afraid of it. And. Uh, Oh, look, I see a, a water, an air bubble. So that means in this tent, it's getting warm enough to, see, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's an air bubble in there. And this was completely froze solid. And that's amazing that it's thrown out in here. So that means, oh, look, it's starting to squish a little. <laughs> so that means at 13 degrees, get out of the wind, get some way to capture a little heat. That's why I said this little tent here, I've had it for, Hell, 20 plus years. I gave 19 or 20 dollars for it. I think it was many years ago. Got out of Walmart. It's a tech sport. It's simple and easy to throw up. Just don't take. Got plenty of headroom. So, uh, but yeah, just just this little old tent, just blocking the wind. This water's starting to thaw out. So that means everybody knows water freezes at 32 degrees. So that means it must be at least 33 in here. I don't know, just saying. It might not be. Hell, maybe I'm full of crap. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. But anyway, I, don't know, I just guess, you know, I was sitting in the house there, and uh, I was watching videos of, of people riding motorcycles and, and ATVs and stuff, which I ride ATVs every year, go to West Virginia, love it. And the wife said, it's kind of cold out there. I said, well, yeah, you're right, but you know something? Cold or not, I don't care. i got to get out of the house. I'm going to go do something. I said, I might be back in 10 minutes. But, means I, like I said, it means I took the time to set up this tent, which I carry in my truck anymore, and I carry it just for this reason. The wind is blowing out of the north, and uh, I've got my tent set in here kind of facing oh in a southerly direction I guess and uh, smoke's blowing away from me which is good but it is like I said it's, it's catching enough heat in here where yeah it's cold but well right there you know you can see the air bubbles not but it's trying to thaw out so and now this is the bottle I left in my truck I forgot all about it uh, but uh I got another one, so I want to make coffee or whatever I want to do. I can do it, but this is thawing out. It's really amazing. 13 degrees, and just having this little tent here. Uh, one thing I didn't do is I need to go back to the truck and look, see if I got a pad, because sitting on the ground, uh, it, it's cold. I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you, even in something like this, it's cold. It, I can feel the, the cold uh, on my backside now, just and it's it's cold. So I gotta go back to the truck and get something to sit on, I guess. Or I could sit on my hat or something like that. Just anything insulates from the ground. Makes a world of difference. Get out. Enjoy what enjoy life. Enjoy what life's got to offer you. Uh, you know, and and uh, you know mind your own business, treat others the way you want them to treat you. It, it's it ain't hard life, it's it's pretty easy. Just do that. But anyway, that's that's uh, 
because I mean this is kind of a wrap up of 2020 I guess because there's been a lot of a lot of crap going on in 2020 uh, which I'm not going to get into because everybody knows it and it's been beat to death so uh, and, and it's all horse shit but uh, be your own person make up your own mind uh, if you agree with it then you tell me I'm, I'm full of crap yep yeah, I'll live with it but uh, be your own person make up your own mind because uh, like you only get one chance in life don't throw it away don't be afraid of everything don't be you know it's like uh, just do it 13 degrees Got me fire sun shining over there in the south I'm sitting kind of down here a little little bottom here in, in the riverbed and it's it's cold but hey it beats sitting in the house it beats sitting in the house there and, and fidgeting all the time there and getting all stressed out and, and uh, just get out and enjoy it You'll be glad you did. Trust me. I'm glad you did. Even if you just walk outside there and and sit in the backyard in, in a lawn chair there and, and drink a cup of coffee, whatever, whatever it takes. You know, just just do it. You know, just don't be afraid. Take control of your life. It's yours. Well, that's what I reckon. <laughs>